had a great start to preseason. Uh, we've been able to see who's doing the work, who hasn't, and uh, it's been evident so far. But most of everybody did the work they're supposed to. Camp's been going great. Seems like the team has bonded really well and just excited to get the season started. With all the girls, we only have one new girl, so we all kind of knew what to do. And she fit in really well with us. So all of us trained really well over the summer. And we've just been hanging out every day. <laughs> so. Well, it can certainly get lonely training in the summer, so it's great to have everybody back together, goofing off and just running around. Um, uh, we got, what, six, five or six new yeah. guys, um, and uh, they've all really adjusted to the team really well, and I'm really looking forward to the season with them. So our newcomer for the girls is Brooke Ramsey. She is a transfer from Stanford, but she's never run cross country before. So this is all new to her, but she is definitely impressive. I think she's going to be really good. She's a marathoner, so she'll she'll do great. I'll have to tag on a little bit with that. She is doing great. Uh, got to work on a little bit of leg speed. She's used to all the distance stuff and has no problem with that. But when you get to cross country, you got a little bit of different stuff that you need to work on and getting that leg turnover going. So it's, she's she's adjusted well, but she's also just getting used to it. She's uh, that's not my forte. Well, sometimes we got to work on our weaknesses, and that's what she's doing right now. So. All the newcomers on the guys' side have impressed me in um, their own sort of way. Um, I mean, we got Nathaniel Loving, um, who's been doing a lot of longer runs with me, um, and uh, he's been really good. Um, Jackson House as well, I can add to that. Um, uh, on the speed, speedier side, we have Ryan Cox and Drew Fair, and um, as well as Raycon Hopkins, and they've all been uh, very impressive as well. And so, and, and with the guys, yeah, we have a lot of guys. Uh, and they're doing a, a great job uh, for the guys that we brought in this year. Uh, it might be one of the most talented classes that we've had in a while. Several of the guys are definitely flying under the radar. Uh, it's going to take them, I think, a year for a couple of them to, to get that experience, especially at the 8K level. Uh, having Raekwon uh, transfer for in, from him from Jackson State, that's huge because he's already raced the 8K, so he knows what to expect. Same thing with Nathaniel Loving. He did run a uh, one year at junior college, and then he just ended up taking the next year off, kind of like a red shirt year, and now he's here. So having some guys that have experience at that race distance is going to help us out. Uh, but just some of these guys, once, we, once they figure it out, it's going to be game on. It's going to be nice. Uh, excited to see what happens. Uh, and definitely is, is growing the team. The goal is always to win. I mean, uh, why not? You know, you got to set your goals up high, uh, but we have realistically uh, uh, definitely want to be top three. Uh, we've been fourth on the men's side for the past several years and, and want to get back into that, that top three spot and, and really be able to compete at a high level. Uh, the guys have never been to nationals, and that's one of their biggest goals, and that's to be top three at regionals to make that happen. Uh, and, you know, we just don't want to send individuals in anymore. We want to get the team back on the women's side. Uh, was a little bit of a down year last year, but sh conference is just getting strong. Uh, and it's exciting to see the girls come back in shape and, and get to where they need to be. Uh, and they're trying to stick their nose back up in it as well. Uh, they were fourth for so many years. They were third one year as well. Uh, and it's fun when you start sticking your nose in and start upsetting some people that they don't expect you to be there. Uh, and I think both, time, both teams, both men and women, it's going to be exciting to watch. Uh, it really is. I'm not. I, I don't want to put my chickens before they hatch, or the cart before the horse, or however you want to say it. But it, we we have a chance to do some exciting things this year, and I can't wait to see what happens. The girls, we don't have a very big roster this year, so we're all trying to stay healthy and race. Um, all of us are pretty much the same pace, so we're all in a huge group. So if we can kind of push our group towards the front of races, that's our main goal this year. Like you said, uh, it's very, um, a very challenging conference. We welcome that challenge. We want it makes us get better. Um, so really rising to the occasion and um, setting our goals high, uh, where we need to be. And um, uh, what we've really emphasized this year is doing the little things. Um, every little thing that we can do to get better, pennies in the bank is our motto. So um, really, uh, we have a really wide open um, uh, uh, kind of field for the guys team right now. So it's really seeing where everyone falls in that and what different things we can do. I'm looking forward to hosting regionals. So recently, like the past couple years, it's been in Florida, like a couple different schools in Florida. So finally having it on our home course and like that'll be my last race ever and then I'm done. So I'm excited to race it here. This is my, actually this is my first course ever in seventh grade. So it'll be my first and last. Really just kind of cherishing um, 
my last cross country season on especially as a falcon and um i uh really want to um make sure i make the most of every race um uh, like anna said regionals um at being at monte valley is great and um i uh being we're 2020 class 2020 so we kind of got so our track season taken away from us which is in the future but um really knowing uh, regarding that knowing that not your, s your season isn't guaranteed so really making the most of it it's the small things we talk about it drew talked about it a minute ago i tell them constantly uh the small things matter big time and that's in recovery uh, everybody thinks, oh, I'm going off for a recovery run and all that. No, it's getting the eight to ten hours of sleep. It's getting into a routine. Uh, it's making sure you're not just eating the right food, but eating enough. As distance runners, even track and field athletes as a whole, we don't eat enough, and we need to replenish what we lose. It's getting into the weight room, not just to get stronger, but for prehab so we don't get injured. Uh, it's taking ice baths. It's, it's everything. Everything encompasses recovery. So... Uh, what we need to clean up is is we need to clean up those small things where we can continue to get better. But not only that, it's, it's cleaning up our pack running. Uh, Anna alluded to it just a few seconds ago. Uh, if we can pack run a lot better, pack running wins championships or it gets you in the top three. Uh, it, it's nice to have a front runner, but again, it's, it's pack running. So if we can clean up our pack running a little bit and if we can clean up those small things, it's going to be a great year. Exactly what he said. Um, the girls... Mainly, we've been talking a lot about sleeping, and we started like stretching and foam rolling together pretty much on every easy day. So we'll just text and remind each other to do that, like just the little things, especially like weights. We started doing that a little bit more last year, focusing on it a little bit more. So everyone like showing up to weights, attending, getting in the work. That's really our main goal. And then again, like the pack running. So workouts staying together, everything, like encouraging everyone. Um, I'll try not to sound like a broken record by saying <laughs> what they say. But yeah, certainly recovery is important. But I'd also say um, making sure you're listening to your body, not um, trying to compete with anyone else at practice when it's not necessary. Um, and just uh, really being in tune with how you're feeling and running how you need to throughout the course of the event man sitting to my right right here uh drew and i've already talked about it a little bit he's actually our team captain this year uh and you know drew is a different runner joe can can have that leg speed and have that little leg turnover but once drew gets his engine going he can be just as strong and just as good so uh and it's stepping in and trying to fill that void and getting there. And it's going to be, I mean, you can't replace a Joe Leventry. You're not going to be able to replace a Drew Roberts. Uh, all you can hope is to bring in talent to continue the process of what you've been building up as a coach uh, and as a program. And, you know, I, I think Drew is going to step in, in that position quite well. Uh, it's just a di different dynamic. As I could tell Joe, hey, let's go sit out. Let's go out with him. Let's sit. Drew is going to be, let's go and start pushing from the get-go. Uh, it's, it's a different ta race tactic is what it is uh, just because their bodies are a little bit different and that's okay and that's what we thrive upon is is having and coaching individuals and, and just making each individual as good as they possibly can and uh, so I have no doubt that that's going to be able to, to happen so it's a lot of work <laughs> uh, we put in a lot of work it's exciting uh, it's been a while I think since 2016 since we posted the regional championships uh, it's, it's nice because you're not having to worry about getting on the bus. You're not having to worry about all that travel, miss class. Uh, believe it or not, our athletes, it, when I was an athlete, I wanted to miss class. You know, the athletes on this team, is, they don't, they want, they're scared to miss class. Uh, but you get that aspect of, of the recovery out of it. So you're not stressing because you're missing class. You're not stressing because you have a long bus ride. Uh, you're not stressing because it's not a course that you don't know. So we know the ins and outs and the turns, and we practice on our course all the time. Uh, and even more so this year with us hosting, uh, we're going to be on it even that much more. And just knowing those little integral things and being able to control our variables are what's going to make this huge. Uh, it's exciting, even though it's a lot of work. It's extremely exciting. It's exciting for our programs. It's exciting for the, the university, the community, the county. Uh, it, it's a great time, and it's, it's, it's enjoyable. As much stress as it can be, it's, it's enjoyable. It's fun. Yeah, I was, I'm really excited to have it here and not have to travel in this class and everything. I think all of us hate missing class, <laughs> actually, but I'm excited. I know it's a lot of work for the coaches and, you know, preparing the course and everything, but we get to run on it. 
pretty much every day if we want to, so. It's kind of my missing class. Um, <laughs> <laughs> uh, but uh, um, and I love a good uh, like regionals trip, but also there's so much to be said about sleeping in your own bed, doing the same routine that you've been doing, and um, that can have uh, yield dividends to the um, race and the result. And we run this every day pretty much, and um, just being able to perform in front of our home crowd as well um, is just going to be uh, a great experience. I'm looking forward to it.